So I've mentioned a couple of times that I might be putting up videos related to my transition on my second channel, so we're gonna start doing that. I've actually recorded a handful of videos within the past two months as I've been starting testosterone, but obviously I didn't say to the internet that I had started because I hadn't said the the coming out thing happened later. It actually happened around one month. So I thought now I would just start uploading some of those older videos. Actually, there's not that many. I might put them all into this video. So it's probably gonna be pretty long and it really might not be interesting to non-trans masculine people. If you find it interesting, that's great. But for trans people, I know that watching lots of different trans people on the YouTubes has really helped me over the years. And especially recently, now that I'm actually on T, anytime I hit kind of like a milestone marker, like one month or two months, I go and watch like every video I can find from people at, at their like two months on T, just so I can kind of be like comparing my experiences and, and making sure that like I'm not experiencing anything that's totally off and just like seeing where I stand compared to like everyone else. So maybe other people will find this helpful. And yeah, I mean, really, it's my second channel. I'm gonna put up whatever I want. If some people find it useful or interesting, that's great. And if they don't, I was just about to film a video for YouTube, um, but then I got a package. This is probably my testosterone. Yes, it is. I see who it's from now. So I thought I would just open it on camera doing like a haul video of my testosterone. <laughs> All right. Medication enclosed, whoa. Go. Got all kinds of intense medical looking stuff in here. We have, oh, needles. 22 gauge, one and a half inch long needles. Syringes. Oh. This is the tea. Testosterone cyp. Bionate, rapeseed oil, compounded. Inject 0.5 milliliters intramuscular every other weeks. This tiny little thing, this little tiny vial is going to do so much. It's gonna change my life. Sort of, it's gonna change my body. I'm gonna be the same person, but I'm gonna feel a lot better. It's a little bit like the first time that I held a cigarette and I was amazed at how light it was, I felt that something so powerful should have more weight to it. This is a little bit like that because it's just so, so small and there's so little in there, but it's gonna do so much. Oh, wow. That's crazy that it's just like, here it is in my hand now. This is so cool. Like, I'm just, I keep kind of thinking back to like, I don't know, 2011, 2012, when all of this just seemed like a total dream. The idea that I would have this stuff in my hands. I don't know, there's elements of shock here, but I'm really excited. Oh, it's nuts. Totally nuts. I'm really happy. I'm really excited. Ha! <laughs> Alright, I gotta get back to work. I gotta do stuff, but I'm excited. So I started testosterone on April 14th. I did a 0.3 milliliter dose and um, I did the injection in my primary doctor's office. I go to like a trans specific kind of healthcare center. So they do everything. I get like my normal, yo, I have a cold kind of health treatment from the same doctor that's giving me my testosterone. And I was expecting to do an intramuscular injection like through my thigh, which is like with a big thick needle. Cause that's just what I see a lot of guys do. And like ones that I've talked to, that's kind of seems to be run of the mill. And that's actually the needles that I got just cause uh, I don't know. But then when I went in, the doctor was like, no, don't use those needles. Those are scary. And he gave me some smaller ones and wrote me a prescription to get more of them that actually they I have them hold on so they actually say insulin syringe on them when I was talking to the pharmacist he was like are you using these for insulin and I had to be like uh no I'm using them for uh something else that's not insulin and then I eventually was just you know, grew a pair and was like, it's for hormone treatments. And he was like, oh, okay, okay. But yeah, so I got the smaller needles and he did a subcutaneous, subcutaneous injection um, through my stomach. He had me go like, and then pull out a thing of fat, which I can't really do when I'm standing up. Put the needle in there and I didn't even feel anything cause it was just all in my fat. Or as my doctor said, <sighs> love handles. That's what he wrote, like on the actual, you know, notes on the computer. He was like, injection in left love handle. Come on, why do you gotta call it that? It was a little embarrassing cause it was like, I don't know, my, I don't, I'm kind of dysphoric about the way my hips look. And so especially sitting down did not look like the kind of body that I wanted to look like right there. And I had my doctor and like my friend watching and I was just like, mm. but it was cool. Um, I didn't feel it at all, but it was a little sore kind of right after it was kind of like hot and sore, like, 
two days after that, I had a couple of days where just my whole kind of side was sore and at first I thought it was just like my muscles because all of my muscles have been like a little bit achy. I've been feeling like I've been working out even though I've barely been working out, but I think it was actually the injection spot that was sore. But anyway, so my next shot will be on the 30th, so that's like 16 days in between shots. <laughs> Whatever. <coughs> yeah, and I know tea can like make you more assertive is the nice way that my doctors have been saying it, but everyone else says like aggressive and rage filled. So I'm just trying to like meditate more. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I used to meditate a lot as a kid, so I'm just trying to keep it cool. Trying to keep it level-headed, trying to keep myself chill. But anyways, yeah, so on the 30th, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get 0.5 milliliters, and I'm gonna do the injection myself. And after that, I'll probably just do it from home, unless I, like, totally suck at it, in which case I'm gonna keep going back to the doctor and doing it myself until I feel comfortable just doing it at home by myself. So, as soon as I got the shot, I mean, I don't think I really felt anything except kind of, like, euphoria. I was really excited that I had done it. It felt really weird that, like, I, I think there was a little bit of shock. It was, like, a little... A little weirded out that I'd finally done it, and like, whoa. I did have a headache for the first, like, 36 hours, and my throat started getting sore, like, that night, but I know I had had a dry throat earlier that day, so I wasn't so sure if it was, like, just continuation of that, maybe a little bit of placebo, but it felt like a different kind of sore. Like, before it had just been dry, and then it started feeling like a lump in my throat, and it's been consistently sore since then. Just this morning, when I was doing some vocal exercises, I realized I think my upper register is starting to go a little bit. I've definitely been more comfortable speaking in my lower register. For the first week, I was still able to hit the higher notes that I need to be able to, and now they're starting to be straining a little bit more to get up there. You know, right now, the biggest change is definitely just feeling better about myself. I feel a little bit stronger. I feel like I have more energy. Things just feel more clear. Like, I feel more clear-headed. I don't feel as groggy. I've always been a person that just kind of consistently feels groggy and, like, sore and stiff. I don't feel any of that now. Um, it just really feels like testosterone is what my body has always needed. Like, my body was kind of rejecting estrogen before, and now it's like, yeah, this is right. This is what's supposed to be here. My body really likes testosterone so far. So I hope that keeps up because I like how I feel a lot, and I'm excited about that. I hope you guys have all been cool with me coming out <laughs> at this point. If you have, thank you. If you haven't, I probably won't upload this. If you haven't, it'll be interesting to see what my life is like at the point when I'm uploading this video. This is what life is like now, in the past, on April 22nd. There's not a calendar back there. I thought there was, but there's not. All right, talk to you later. One last thing before I go, I have somehow weirdly, like really no clue how this happened. I have been nominated for a Logo TV Trailblazer Honors Award, which is like an actual award show that's like on TV and stuff. And like last year, like Laverne Cox and Daniel Radcliffe and freaking Macklemore were all there. So yeah, I've been nominated in the Social Trailblazer category along with Connor Franta, Joey Graceffa, and Gabby Dunn, who all have, you know, millions of subscribers. So I don't have much of a chance here, but I'm totally stoked to be nominated because what? Well, the way that you vote is using hashtag Vote Jackson. That probably should go the other way. Hashtag Vote Jackson. I totally know social stuff. I totally deserve to be in this category. <laughs> you can vote from the 10th until the 27th by using that hashtag. I'll put more details in the description box. But, you know, I have, like, no chance here. But I would like to, like, put in some effort and not be so embarrassingly in last place. If you want to, please tweet this. Spread the word. It'd be really cool to get, you know, some support in here, even though, like, Connor or Gabby or Joey are totally gonna win. I mean, their faces are on freaking giant billboards and they've got books and stuff, which is awesome. By the way, Joey Graceffa's coming out video was amazing and you should all go watch it if you haven't yet. Anyways, thank you all for watching this. Thank you if you do support me in that and go watch the Will It Waffle video that I put up. Okay, bye. bye.